Hey, Matt Scrappers, it's Myra. I'm back again. <laughs> you guys don't know the nightmare this has been. I'm back redoing my um, Black Friday uh, Small Business Saturday through Cyber Monday sale because the uh, YouTube video upload did not work. Problem is that some of the that I mentioned in that video are no longer relevant, so I needed to reshoot it. Not a problem. Okay, you know, we got to deal with it. So I reshot it. And then I realized after I was done, the video didn't save at all. So click take three. Here I am back again. Practice makes perfect, right? So I'm coming back at you and giving you um, an update. This is already towards the end of Cyber Saturday. Uh, excuse me, Small Business Saturday. My goodness, I can't even get things right. Um, so I'm going to give you the sales that are still relevant now that are going through Cyber Monday. And I'm going to come after this with a project that I have from one of the small businesses that has a sale going on through Monday. Okay. So really quickly, let me just stop the chit chat here. Let me take you to the share my screen and let's go through all the tabs that I have open. Okay. One moment, please. Let me get this picked out. Share screen. I'll close that off and let me open up. Let me see where I want to go. I want to go through here, through these tabs. So let me start at the beginning of these tabs. Let me, you guys can't see it, but I can see myself and I got to make this large. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to through, like I explained before, I'm going to go through these one by one and then close the tabs so that then I can keep going, scrolling through these. Okay. So I'm going to start with Spellbinders. I already alerted you guys earlier. The sale is still going on. If, if you're a Spellbinders fan, this is the sale to hit. This is their, their biggest sale. I don't know if it's the biggest sale of the year, but it's a big one and a good one. Let me see my screen now. Oh, okay, there we go. It's, now it's wanting to work. So my computer's lagging a little bit because it's been on a while recording, so I forgive me for that. Um, but I just want you to see the categories in the sale. They are quite a few. They have it categorized. If you click on the Hello Holidays, they'll take you to the categories so you can go where you need um, from, you know, where, whether it's adhesives or you want to get some supply, you know, some of your Glimmer Hot Foil stamps, you know, obviously your dyes. Hello, this is Spellbinders after all. Um, their doorbuster deals, their dollar deals. There is a ton of stuff picked up by one dollar. So you want to go through here, and I, I'm just scrolling through really quickly to show you some of the things here. I thought, or was it in Doorbusters? I wanted to show oh, here. Maybe it'll, okay. It's I'm sorry. It's just that my computer's really lagging right now, so I'm gonna have to um, beg your forgiveness. But there's just all kinds of, of goodness, and I showed this earlier in the recording that did not record. Um, and I'm, now it's not coming up, so I don't know, maybe if it's in the doorbuster deals. But one of the things that's on sale is their rolling tote. Not the FSJ one, but a brown and black one. I have one of them, and I will um, do it. I'll upload it tomorrow. This is not where I want it to be. Um, uh, of a tote that I have that's $30, guys. It is a steal. So you want to, if you're looking for a rolling tote or another one, definitely go after this and get this tote. I am so sorry that I am not, let me see now if it clicks, if it will click, because I think it's a doorbuster deal. But I'm hoping I can pull it up real quickly for you guys to show you guys. Let's see. Is it here? Um, I don't see it really quickly, but definitely if you need scissors, scissors these are the ones to get. These are the... Uh, um, the FSJ Pro Shears, I have like four pairs of them. I did. Let me tell you one thing. I didn't pay this price for them. So you guys take advantage, get a pair. Let me see if I can scroll quickly and get you to at least a view of this. So there it is. This, the Bag of Tricks, the Rolling Storage Tote. This thing is meant for the Platinum. It's big. I can't even begin to tell you if the, the picture belies, but I will upload video. I'm going to get it up there tomorrow as well of a quick tour of mine. So you can see, but you can tell the MSRP is uh, 159. It is now 30. It may be 30 or 35 because these prices are reflecting the fact that I am a club member. I'm, I belong to the kids, so I get percent off. So um, just in case if it doesn't reflect $30, that's because I belong to the their monthly club, so I get a bit of a break. So which is an incentive. You might want to think about doing that. 
because it comes in handy to have it. But take a look and um, and and go on there. If you're again, if you're a spa, fan of Spellbinders, go. Next tab is going to be Simon Says Stamp. This is now the sale going on through Monday. I do believe they had a way killer uh, Black Friday sale. So hopefully you got to, were able to take advantage of that. Um, I'm hopefully, let me see if I can get it to go over to where it shows the sale. Oh my goodness, it's not giving it to me. I wonder if it's over yet. You know what? It might be their sale might already be over on this one. And if it is, then I'm going to beg your forgiveness. It was live when I shot this originally. So um, if not, take a look. I'll see now it's giving me the stupid weight signal. So I'm going to I beg your forgiveness because it's not going to keep coming up. Um, but if I will link you below if I can still get it to come up. Okay, so I apologize. But take a look if you still want to get stuff. There's always good stuff to find on Simon Says Stamps. Next is Catherine Pooler. Catherine Pooler's is new to me. I know that she's been around for a while. I'm sure she's, you know, for many of you, she's like, really, Mary, you have not heard of Catherine Pooler? Yeah, no, I had not heard of Catherine Pooler before the pandemic started. So, you know, there you go. But um, she has fabulous inks. They are on sale. Her inks are never on sale. So she's got quite a few discount codes, and I am so sorry. This was working fabulously the first time before everything went to pot on me. And let me see. Hopefully, I wonder if her sales, because I know she had quite a few coupon codes. And I'm hoping these have not gone away. They might have, and I would hate for that to be the case on so many of these when I, which is just as well, because that means they were not going to last very long. By the time I uploaded this video, you were not going to see them. So I am not seeing it. So I'm going to look, and if they're still live, I'm going to link them down below in the description. Okay, so I'm going to ask for your forgiveness on that. Let me keep going. I'm going to drop down. Why do I have so many Catherine Pooler? Um, close this one down too. Let me take you next to Colorado Craft. Let me take you to the homepage really quick first. This is a new company to me too. I discovered them through uh, watching a YouTuber. They have some really, again, a small, this is a small business. Definitely somebody you want to take a look at. Their Black Friday, Black Friday through Cyber Monday still is still ongoing. Yay, at least I can redeem myself. Um, going 15% off your entire order through Monday. Use the code BF2CM. So it ends on Monday at midnight. I love these guys. One of the things I love about them is that I discovered this, and this is what I saw on the YouTube, is their big and bold collection. And when they mean by big and bold, we're talking like Texas big and bold they they don't mess with you and this big and bold thing okay i've gotten i picked up this one the the nordic snowflakes let me get away from it so you can see it again and then the nordic ornament as well and one other but i'm not kidding you, you see and it looks big i'm not joking you this one has to be a, a six by six card to incorporate it i've I've pulled it real quick since i had to reshoot hopefully you can see this guys this is the stamp the stamp is five and a quarter inches across itself. It's huge. You have to do this as a six by six card if you're going to use the entire stamp. And then this is, let me show you the snowflakes again are big. So I will be doing projects with these. So I will be coming back with you. So uh, keep an eye out for them, but take a look at these guys. I, I have become an instant fan, love them. And they just have really cool stuff. I will be back for more. I'm going to next small business I'm taking to is Crazy Creations. I love those girls, those ladies from Crazy Creations. I'm a big fan of all of their kits. I have I have done a few. I have a few that still need to be done because, heaven forbid, I'm not being an obsessive compulsive collector. Their sale is also still going on. So here we go. There's your Black Friday weekend, Crafty Sunday that begins, which is already starting up. It'll, by the time this goes live, this will be the one that's going on. And then they have another for Monday as well. Let me see if I can, it'll be the next one. There you go. Cyber Monday. So I will down, I will um, put these all underneath the descriptions as well. 
take a look at them. They have such fabulous, fabulous kits. They're the, they, I love their um, their stickers uh, and, and their um, their glitter. And now they have markers. Let me see if I can get a page to come up really quick so we can see some of their kits. But they're lovely ladies. This is a mother daughter uh, team. You definitely, you know, we want to support our small businesses, these family run mom and pops. They're taking a hit just like everybody is, but I love their stuff. So go through here. If you can't support them, if you've been holding off on getting some things, well, this is the time to stock up. Okay, guys. And I just don't want you to take more time because I'm going on my third shooting of this, but I just, I don't want to make this too long because I'm kind of coming behind with a project from one of these vendors. Okay, next is It's Cheaper Than Therapy. This is my friend, Maria, Maria, Maria. I adore her. I, I always tell her every time I've seen her at Expo, I tell her, Maria, do not lie to me. This is not cheaper than therapy. And she says, yeah, but it's more fun. And she's right. And I love her. And she has one of the coolest booths. I always go visit her. I always bring her brownies. But, um, but she's got still going on her bundles of therapy. So take a look at these because there's all kinds of Sizzix goodness going on in here. So you definitely, I mean, I'm just going through real quickly so you can see some of their stuff. If you like Sizzix, let's support Maria and her small business. And keep, you know, we want to take care of all of our people so that they will come back to when the when the world opens back up and we can go to Expo. I want to be able to see her and give her a hug. I cannot remember the last time I gave a person a hug. Uh, so, you know, let's keep her going. But this is just some of her stuff. So definitely give Maria a look at, okay? Last, I think for this page, it's going to be scrapbook.com. They have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, let me, well, actually, maybe I should have clicked on that. Let me see if I can close this because now, of course, we'll be spinning for forever and a day. There we go. So they have all kinds of codes going on. Go through here. So extra 5% off on your orders plus free gifts. They want to throw things at you. So this is a time put in your order and then you, I don't know if it's, it's multiple codes or just one code that I can't tell you for sure, but it's a free add on. This was a free add on with your purchase of $25 or more. Um, the next one. Uh, so they have several, it's a free add on. So they have free, several free add ons that you probably want to take advantage of. So if you got stuff sitting in your cart on scrapbook.com, like I do, Take a, you know, you might want to take a look, see what's on sale and see what you can add. Look at that, a free Catherine. No, that one's already sold out. Okay, sorry. Let me not take you too far, much farther because these already are sold out. So these are the free gifts still left. So definitely take a look at scrapbook.com and, and shop. But save, but we have to save money because we have other vendors. I'm sorry, let me give you, okay, let me open this up. Now I got to move myself. I don't know if you can see me, but I have to move myself. I think you can't see me. I see me. Okay. I am now at, I'm going to start from this end. I'm sorry. I'm starting with Simon Says Stamp. They still have their sale going on, Celebrate Small Business Saturday. So this savings is still going on with the call, with the coupon code of small799. And I will put that down below. I'll spend $50 or more and you get free shipping. I buy several stamps, a couple of goodies, and you know that you're going to spend that money easy. Or, and they, they allow you to pick your, your, pick your, um, your special or spend $5 or more and take $5 off of your purchase with that with one day FV code. So definitely if you got stuff that you want to get on Simon Says Stamp, go ahead and get it and go pick your stuff up. I did earlier, but I definitely picked it up on, I did do my Simon Says Stamp on Black Friday and I have that order coming. So I will do a reveal with those. I picked up my gnomes. I, I have been holding and holding and holding on getting all the gnome dies and they all came into stock just in time for the sale. So I am a very happy gnome person because I have my gnomes coming to me. So I will, again, I will link you down below to this and then I will also um, take you and I'll do the, I'll show you my haul when it comes in. Tonic Studios, another one of my current faves are having um, an amazing sale. They're doing amazing, unmissable 
Cyber Week. This is our Cyber Week unmiss, unmiss, unmissable daily deals. This has been going on now for a few days. And uh, it's and the these the ones I'm going to show you now have gone went live just a few hours ago, so that I know of none of them have sold out yet. And I'm sorry, I apologize again for the snow the slowness of the page. But this is what and don't let this be lie. I don't know why it's gone to zero on it, but it's actually still a couple of days left. So these are the sale items that got added today. So you got. Um, a die set, the Cham Chamfered and Incense gift box collection. If you have ever owned a tonic die, it is just primo quality. They're, whether it's for card making or they're 3D, they do a lot of 3D. They are fabulous. I just, their, their intricacy and everything. I don't want to open it up because I'll be slowing us up. But definitely take a look at it. This craft bundle, we're talking 30, excuse me, 35 pages of eight and a half by 11, actually a little bit bigger than that because this is, but they come UK size eight, seven. So it's a little bit, it's like a little bit narrow. I think it's eight and a quarter by 12. I forget, but it's a little different size from our US, but these are all going to be foiled card stock. So it's 35 pages, so you get seven because they come in packages of five. It's a way to get started with their paper. I have quite a bit of their paper. I love it. I, I, I cannot say enough good stuff about this paper. So if you want to take a test, this is great at this price. You can't beat it. Um, then they have the Tim Holtz Haberdashery Snips. It kills me because I just bought the, the larger six inches on their sale. They haven't even come to me yet. And they just put this on sale with the little five inch snips for $12.24. Well, guess who's picking those up too? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my husband's going to benefit by getting a pair of scissors, I suppose. But I'm I'm going to pick this up because I have no willpower whatsoever. <laughs> and, you know, we always could use an extra pair of scissors. Um, but let me go back. I'm going to show you the rest. These are still from yesterday and the day before. These are the ones that have not gone, that have not sold off. So I picked up this paper already myself as well. It's coming, coming to me. They have their confetti gemstones. Here is their my memory book. I've been I've been doing all of these. I've definitely gotten my memory book, the dies and the half dies, all together. And again, here you go. If you like the nouveau embellishment mousse, we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them for twenty five dollars. Do the math. That is definitely a deal. See now, my computer's really getting cranky and tired. I apologize for that. But go through here, take a look. I'll have a link below of all the stuff that they have on sale. See, some stuff is already sold out. That's already gone. But there's still plenty that's still left and worth buying. Um, almost last and not least is another very small business, the Stamp Doctor. I discovered her through the pandemic and the expos, um, and both the expo and one of a kind. Both of them, I discovered her there watching their shows. Um, she is Michelle is just a sweetheart. I've had the opportunity to talk to her and chit chat with her. And she's a one woman operation. She has fabulous dyes, well priced. Um, just her creativity knows no bounds. She has a ton of YouTube videos. Definitely look her up, the Stamp Doctor. She has the mystery dye bundles. I just wanted to alert you to that. $25 buys you at least $100 worth of dyes. So you want to take a look at that. I believe the Christmas one is already sold out, but her other ones are still there. The mystery, uh, excuse me, celebration, floral theme, jewelry theme, and love and life theme. All of those are still live. So definitely take a look at her and let's support our small business people for sure. Okay. And she's a doll. I can't say enough good things about her. Next is somebody I have known about for a while but only recently started getting an addiction to them. And this is all to new. I have one step that I haven't used yet, mind you. And it's probably easily three years old, at least a couple of years old. And it's like all these things that I want to use it. And then I never do, but all to new is having a big sale going on right now. You'll see as it scrolls by. Um, so take a look. They still have stamps and all kinds of stuff on sale and free gifts. So give them a good look. We've got free shipping for orders over $29. So, and if it's international, I don't think I have anybody that views me internationally, but definitely take the, take a look. Super, here you got 20% off, 50% off. 
So this is going on through the 29th. So it's, it's and for some of you will be seeing this on the 29th. So run over there, give them a look. They have a ton of stuff really marked down. These are the inks I am collecting. They have some inks on sale. So these are the ones because I love that layered look. So Altenu is the one I ended up choosing to collect I, uh, as, as well as, as Tim Holtz, but who doesn't collect Tim Holtz? So these are my other guys. So I, you know, because they, I love it because if you want to do layered dyes, they give them to you in four packs of the colors so that you could automatically go in and do any of their dyes. You have all the colors in the right shades. So take a look at them. Again, a small business, we want to support them. Next, for those of you, many of you have known me for years and know that I'm a huge fan of Paper Phenomena. Many of you have taken my classes that I have taught of her projects. I can't think, say enough about Kathy King. She's just amazing with what she can do with her albums. I, she's the reason really I've gone away from doing 12 by 12s to a great extent. Um, because she just does these 3Ds. I love that she does albums and they're 3D and they can be, they're functional. They have, hold your pictures, but they're decorative and they're interactive. She is having a monster sale right now. She is, has a 65% off everything in the store, Black Friday sale. The code is BF650FF. And this code is good through December 26. So you have time to go through here, check her YouTube channels. You see something, look at the reveals. She does reveals over all her projects and go for, I am also gonna be picking up stuff. I, I, I admit I am also holding off because there's stuff that I wanted to take care of that was only available this weekend. So I know I have time with Kathy so I can wait until I get paid again. And I am going to be picking up some of her kits. So I, I can't say I love her stuff. Um, so if you're looking at doing an album, this is somebody to look at. And then last but not least is a friend of mine, T Angel and Hearts and Crafts. Um, she is having a sale on her site. Uh, many of us have followed her when she had her store. And unfortunately, her store did not survive the pandemic. Thank you, COVID-19, not. But she's having a big sale right now. She has 30% off on her scrapbook pages and her mini albums. D is the reason. I'm back doing 12 by 12s again. So thank God I have albums that need space and, and everything. So I this is the project. I'm going to be coming back at you after I'm done with this with a video. Thank God I have already shot and it hasn't been damaged. Nothing has happened to it. So <laughs> the cyber curse ends here. But I do want to show you some of her stuff. She just has really cool layouts that are, as far as I'm concerned, goof proof. They're Myra proof. Okay, so they're Myra proof. They're proof of anything and everything. Um, but let me take you, let me see if I can open up like Halloween because what I am doing is going to be in bringing you a Halloween page and a fall page because I still have to, and I have several of her kits that she's provided for me to do samples for you to show you, to demonstrate really how goof proof they are. So these are some of her pages. Um, I love, excuse me, Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to be picking up that stuff because we all know for me, it's all about the madness. Um, here is Not Scary Farm. And it's funny because some of the pictures that I'm including in the one I did is from Not Scary Farm because we do Not Scary Farm every year, except this year because there was no Not Scary Farm because there's no nothing. So these are just quite a few. This is another one. This is the one I'm going to be bringing to you, the um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm doing it a bit differently because I have, I think I have a few more pictures I'm throwing in there because heaven forbid I not overcrowd a page. It's just my thing. But just, but look at these, they're just 12 by 12s or two late, they're two pages. You get all the, I mean, I'll open this one up, although I am going to show it to you in a minute. I don't know why I'm doing this one, but there you go. Um, it includes the page, the paper, you need the background sheets, the, the sheets for your photo mats, and all of the foo-foo. All you have to do is provide pictures and imagination. She gives you a sample here of what to do, or you can do your own thing. I'm going to do my own thing because that's how I roll. I wanted to do my own take on it. Um, but I can't say enough good things about T. This is, again, another small one-woman show that you want to support. We want to keep all of our small businesses open. Let me, I'm going to try to get back out here because it's also her little scrapbook albums are also, they're all six by sixes. Again, um, they include everything you need. You just need glue, and, you know, your adhesive, your foam dots, 
uh, your photos and you're ready to rock and roll. They come together very quickly, very easily, but they're really just stinking cute. Um, let me go in here real quick. Let me see if I can get this before my computer just says, yeah, Myra, I'm taking a coffee break. You're done. <laughs> so let me go in here. I'm going to go into the, let me go into the, probably the category that's most crowded. Let's go into the all mini albums and we'll, and we'll see what, so I just want to show you, give you a bird's eye view of what she got, what she's got, but I'm linking below in the description for all of her kits. Da -da -da, come on. Hang on, sloop it. Okay, there we go. That was your musical interlude. But here are her kits. We've got, you know, pure, you know, bases for her albums. These are all her albums. I'm definitely going to get this because we all know, for me, it's all about the madness. So that's definitely, we are all here. We are all mad here. The company I keep not discluded. That includes the fish, the cats, the dog, everybody. But these are just her albums. I mean, I love her magic album i mean who doesn't love disney i'm just totally a disney girl but i have all of these so definitely take a look all of these are these prices are good through cyber monday midnight summer monday so get in there and let's support our small businesses okay now let me i'm gonna go ahead and stop my share because that's all i have for you on my hit parade we stop share okay there i am Okay, guys, so that's all I have for you right now. I'm hopefully redeeming myself. These sales are still good through Monday. I apologize if I got a, a couple of them went died between the two times I've had to record this video. So for that, I, I apologize sincerely. But enjoy yourselves. Do something for yourself and pick up something for yourself. I, I, and I know it. You're like me. You're going to pick up something because I want that. And then you're going to turn around and make something for somebody else with it. Don't lie to me. I know it. But let, but let's, you know, let's do something for ourselves, our creativity. I don't know about you, but my creativity playing with paper here in my crafting corner feeds my soul. And, you know, and so I need that. So our creativity keeps us afloat. It's keeping many of us sane as we're locked up. We can't do a lot. We can't go where and you know, wherever we want. We don't get to see our friends like we used to. I can't even remember last time I gave somebody a hug. So, you know, um, just you know that's important so take care of yourselves i cannot say that enough don't forget to wear your mask be safe out there don't forget just like i am scrapping my madness here y'all go out and scrap your own madness okay take care of yourselves i'll be right back with the the project for you to see okay be right back bye Hey, Mad Scrappers, I am back here with a kit. Um, this is one from several that I have from Hearts and Crafts, and I want to let you know that this was provided to me at no charge, but the creativity and the opinions <laughs> involved in this are all my own. But I wanted you guys to know that. But again, this is one of the uh, page layouts that are done by T Angel and from Hearts and Crafts, and I will link you below to a link to her shop. These are all going to be featured in her upcoming Black Friday um, through Cyber Monday sale. All of her page kits and her albums are going to be 30% off. This is one of a couple I'm going to bring to you before Cyber Monday. I'm going to try to get uh, this one and there will be a pumpkin patch one that I'll be doing in a separate video that I'm going to be uploading for you. But this one is a Halloween themed one. It is the Nightmare Before Christmas. But I wanted to open it up to show you what you get with her kits. They are normally $12, which I think is a really great deal to start with as far as, as far as I'm concerned, but they are now $9, I believe, or not now, they will be, excuse me, they'll be $9, $9.09, something like that, I forgot, I figured it out, and I forgot already, but it comes with, the kit comes, let me, I'll set the fair amount aside, but it comes with two background pages already printed up, let me, oh no, yeah, I did have them set the right way, so if you notice, if you put them together, you can see it makes the peak in the middle of the house you know so it's a you're you're basically because this is obviously halloween themed i'm sorry for the glare off of this and it, sometimes there is too much light let me see if i turn that light off oh, okay much better practically if i went dark which then you couldn't see anything but anyway um it is really good quality cardstock um sh a bit of a shine to it and then along with these two pages you're going to get she gives you three sheets to do backgrounds or whatever you wish with. So you have three sheets of white cardstock. And then, no wait, there's more. 
you get all the ephemera to lay out on your page. So it comes with all of these goodie jobbers, these gumaflotchies, as I like to call them. But they're all part of the characters of Nightmare Before Christmas. So we have Sally here. And then we have the little, little duck toy. I know the witch, I believe, has a name. You could ship me now and I couldn't tell you. Obviously, the title. Here is the title, Nightmare Before Christmas with Zero. And then, of course, here's Jack. And the ghost whose name also escapes me. I'm a horrible person. And here is the mayor and another character. So you get all of these characters to decorate your page and these pa with these two pages. So the, and you're only limited, honestly, with your imagination. If you go on her website, you have. She lays it out for you. So you can either do exactly what she did or your own take on it. I'm doing my own take because I'm actually loading this up with more pictures than it's probably intended to. Um, I can't help it, which it really, in the grand scheme of things, is probably counterproductive to the background, which is so fabulous. But I already worked this out in my head. so And I did that just so that I would take less time in showing you how this works. So give me a second, because I did want to give this to you already, but I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to cut these up into photo mats to frame the pictures I have. And these are my pictures. These are all Halloween pictures that I have from Steve and I from when we went to Not Scary Farm. I believe this was last year. When we still could do things like that, not that there was no not scary part for us this year. I'm so sad, but give me a second. Let me cut that up and I'll be right back. Okay. Alrighty folks. I am back. I have cut a bunch. Uh, I, I literally took just one page, one of the white pages and I cut them down to four by sixes and then realized, wait a minute, my pictures are four by sixes. So what did I do? I cut my pictures down. So that they fit inside the four by sixes and the heck with it. I still have two extra pieces of paper to use however I wish. Thank you very much, T. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and really quickly mount these up. You know, I just want to frame them really quick. Each one. I'm gonna, let me set these papers aside so that I don't get double sided. But I just use, I mean, me, I, for me, it's just, I just use Big Mama. My ATG gun. And run it across one. And I'm just going to do one to show you guys. And then I will do the rest real quickly off camera. This is not rocket science. I don't think it's not like none of you have ever mounted. You know what? I'm going to put one in the middle with the sound effect. Don't forget, you have to do the sound effect when you're doing this or otherwise it doesn't count. So we'll just take this silly picture and selfie I took of us from Not Scary Farm and just center it as best I can. If anybody's heard me talk, it's... You know, it just it doesn't have to be perfect. It just have to be. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to do the rest to my five other pictures. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, my friends. Unlike MacArthur, I have returned. I have mounted all of my pictures. Well, three of them for this, for this side of the spread on my 4x6 white. And then I have the pieces that I'm going to use. And then I have my handy dandy foam tape. This is the foam tape I use. I get this at the 99 cents stores. So if you are paying anything more than 99 cents for your foam tape, you're paying too much. Stop that. Go run to the 99 cents store. So now all I have to do is, oh, look, I have a piece already broke off. How convenient. I just need to put that. And the, the lovely thing about paying cheap for it, let me put that tape, is that I can afford to be generous. I can get crazy with the type, tape, you know, the foam, and not be sweating how many pieces of foam cause, uh, I'm using. Because we all know that foam tends to be expensive. My Our ducky friend here probably only needs, maybe he needs that. Let me see if I can, will it fit? Yes. But I don't think it'll fit this way. Let's see. Oh, look. Ah! Oh, me of little faith. I got it to fit. And this is our little witchy friend. Is that my... Okay, that's like... Okay, we're going to put one way up here as high as I can go. Because I'm lazy. I really do not want to be cutting down pieces of foam. I just don't. I'm, you know... It is what it is. I'm as human as the next person. And the point of this is to just put it together quickly and and painlessly and and with no fuss and no muss so i think i'll put that one right there and that should be and we'll call it good okay wishy friend and then this one's going to take a lot 
because it's all over. So we'll put a couple to make sure that uh, zero pops up the way he's supposed to. Because I, I hate when you get anything that's, you know, popped up in 3D and it just, you know, dents in the middle. So I tend to be generous with my foam when I can afford to. I don't normally foam a big piece like this. This is, T is truly, you know, trying my, uh, she gives me far much more credit than I probably deserve. Well, we're just going to foam this within an inch of its life, which is not a problem until in a minute when I have to start removing all of these, all the tapes off the darn foam. But what I'm going to do first is more or less situate my pictures in place, and then I'm going to put all of these guys above it. Um, I think that should be good, but that spot is bothering me. So there, what the heck, you know, at this point in for a penny in for a pound, Make these a uh, gone because if they're good and stuck, they'll be easier to peel off after I'm done. And I do have a handy dandy trick that I do, which hopefully for will be working. Okay, so we're gonna set these aside over here on the side for a second. Come here, ducky friend. Okay, and let me remember. I think this is the way I wanted it. I wanted my. I love how they do up the log ride. That is the log ride done up with the skull at the very top. Very cool. This was a display over um, by, oh my goodness, it, it used to be it, it, almost in the Roaring Twenties area. I can't remember now what they call it now, holy cow, and I, but I can remember what they called it 30 years ago. But that's really, it's pretty much an easy setup right here. I'm going to probably bring it down a little bit lower. Let me see, because let me lay these out. Let me get these laid out so that that way, see, I need to close closer to the edge or my title is going to be covering my skull. And then I decided I was going to put her like stuck here in the middle. And then my ducky friend was going to be going over here just because I can, because this picture allows for me to overlap a little bit. And then Sally was going to sit above my head above us. Actually, I could probably bring her. I just want to bring her to the edge of the picture. So part of me to think maybe I should have shrunk down that because I have another shot of this which shows the bigness of it. So there's a part of me because it looks a little crowded to me. But when did that ever let? No, 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 when did that ever stop me from anything? Ah, she'll be good right here. We'll make. Oh, you know what? That's what I'll do. Hello, she's sitting on the pumpkin. See, problem solved. Crisis averted. Ah, the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> this is, oh my God, this woman is crazy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. I'm going to just put down one picture at a time. And I'm just going to tape it down with my ATG gun. Ah, tape failed there. Let me just pick that up. We want dimension, but not like, let's not get crazy. And that will go all the way around it. Although possibly this is, might be overkill again. It doesn't have to survive the zombie apocalypse. It's not like I expect my scrapbook to find its way into the Smithsonian unless the Smithsonian comes up with a display for crazy people, mad scrappers like me. But I'm going to put that down right here. And then I'm going to come in for Steve. That is my husband, Steve. And that's me, your friendly neighborhood mad scrapper with curly hair. My hair is naturally curly. I have to straighten it. And you've seen it on camera straight. I think you've seen it both. I've, I've gone on camera both ways. I just recently got it cut and colored in all its glorious tricolor madness. So I have teal and purple and fuchsia in my hair, hot pink in my hair. Makes my mom roll her eyes every time I get it done, which makes it all the more worth it. She's like, really? At your age? And I go, yes, mom. If not now, when? When am I going to do this when I'm dead? That's no fun. Okay, and then let me go in and drop down this picture. Oops. And here. Go here. Just tape down because it's not like this is not necessarily this is going to go under page protectors in theory they may go over the edge so we're going to see what happens when I end up doing with this 
there we go we'll put that in the corner in the corner here in my best is that new york i don't know or is it just myra being silly okay we'll just put it there let's not get obsessive about this and then i think what i want to do is put this one in first because it's the one that takes the most space and I'm going to try to keep it. In. I don't mind if it goes off the top. I don't have a problem with that at all. Because my album pages are top loading. So it's okay even if it goes off a little bit to the top. Which I think is what I'm going to do. Because then it gives me more space. So that's what I'm going to do. Because I can. It's my book. So now let me remove these phone tapes. Okay, wait. Let's try that handy dandy trick of mine. Grab one of my myriad of pokey tools. And of course, now that I'm doing it, this is the second time I've tried to do this and it doesn't work, but it works so great when somebody else demoed it. Okay, so that's not going to work. They just stabbed it and the tape just came right off because it wasn't me doing it. <laughs> it's just like, it never fails. I have another, I have a card and that's a Thanksgiving card that I haven't been able to render the tape, the, the video for because it was a nightmare. The card itself came together very easily when I did the sample. And then when I went to shoot the video, everything went wrong. So I ended up titling, you know, to, to me personally, I've since um, termed it Franken card because it just drove me crazy. It was a Thanksgiving card. And of course, now it's past Thanksgiving, but I may still put it up or I may save it for next year. Who knows? Hmm. Now there's a thought. And maybe I can bring myself to do the card again next year. Ugh, I don't know about that. I only made like three of them. One was for my mother, one was for Steve's mother, and then one was to say for myself. And that's it. Okay, that looks good. So we are going to now commit, but we do not have commitment issues, though we may need to be committed. And I'm thinking, God, I hope that's straight. <laughs> I didn't think about it before. I went. And we're going to do Sally next. That's because she's right there. She's my friend. She's my girl. I love Sally. I really do enjoy that that movie cartoon theme. I love I love Disney no better, especially the Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion is my ride anyway. But oh my goodness, when they deck it out, Nightmare Before Christmas, I am in my element. I as a happy girl. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do what I said I was going to do. And I am going to have Sally be sitting on the pumpkin because there's a plenty of space. Do I want to go down here into the ledge? Ooh. What do you guys think? What the heck? Because you'll see in a minute why I'm willing to go ahead and kill a corner of that picture. Because I have a picture of just this by itself. Because it really was a pretty display. So, yeah. I think Sally's going to be sitting on the ledge, dangling her feet over our heads. I think in the theme and scheme of things, that is appropriate. And if you don't like it, well, too bad. It's my book. <laughs> it's my layout. And that, again, it is... The beauty of a handcrafted item, you get to do what you want. It's just, it's the, don't let anybody, you know, for lack of a better term, dull your sparkle, talk you out of something that makes you happy. Just do what makes you happy. And then here, do I want to put, you know, that's, that's another thought. I'm going to put him on the edge of this picture. Although I'm taking it away from the picture, darn. I'll put him down here. I'm going to put him right on the edge. I'm going to do that because I still have the picture. I don't mind, like I said, blocking it. And then I'm going to put our little... Do I want to put him down here so he's kicking Steve in the head? Would that be rude? What do you guys think? He's right there. I don't think he's, here. I don't think he's even paying attention to me because he's in the same room with me on his phone. But I think that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put her right here. So there we go. And that is my decision. Like it or not. Because I'm... Okay. Oh, see, there we go. There goes the peanut gallery. Hasn't even seen it. He doesn't get a choice. Now he really is getting kicked in the head by the witch. <laughs> My poor long-suffering husband. He has to put up with me, guys. This is, you know, a fate worse than death. He did not read the fine print when he married me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it... Let me see. I'm going to put her... Side. My idea was to put her more centered. I actually had her kind of like cattywampus sideways, but now I'm going to put her... I think I'm going to... I don't care if one overlaps the other. So I'm going to leave her right here. 
and that's one page so again this is what i love about her kits they just come together so quickly let me come now here's my the second page as i toss one aside how rude poor thing and now i have these pictures so these are my three pictures i love this this was a pumpkin with the fire oh my gosh you can see it's just you know just that <laughs> evilness and then here again is that display we have the picture of and with steve and i in front of and here it is without us in front of it and then a, another selfie him and i in front of the knott's berry it's a tower it's one of the water towers with skeletons in front of it and it says knott's berry farm and had i thought about it before i printed i should have mirrored i should have flipped it actually i can't because it doesn't matter if i flip it you it's just going to be backwards i have to remember about things like that when i'm taking selfies but i'm going to go ahead and overlap these pictures i do not care actually no i can overlap this one on top of this one and then this one on top of this one because it's not taking it won't take away and then what i'm planning to do with my friends here is the mayor is going to go down here in this corner jock will go right here and then what's his face which i so i really should have taken the moment in the break and um looked up his name because i can't remember it it just totally leaves my name somebody you know save me and put it in comments and remind my poor befuddled brain what his name is so let me go ahead and i'm going to foam dot these guys real quick to with again within an inch of their lives so really in the grand scheme of things it didn't take me that long to unpeel all the all the paper off these foams i have another i have a foam tape that is really a pain in the neck the dang and that's just the raw and this company that they make also foam tape you know all you know so that you can just roll it out they have that as well and they have foam squares and I think they have circles too if you want I I just get these and when I need to I cut them down but I when I buy these I will buy you know five or ten rolls at a whack and just and just hoard them and then it saves me from having to go where oh I'm looking for everybody else they're right on the page hello Myra yeesh but again because it is so really inexpensive oh my goodness I don't mind using up a, a bunch of tape to dimensionalize this and make it come together. So, oh wait, I just noticed that something here didn't pop out. Thank gosh. And that's a miracle I even see it because I'm wearing the wrong glasses to catch stuff like that. I'm wearing my computer glasses, not my look up close and see things glasses. So that was a miracle in and of itself that I caught that that didn't punch out. That's all good. I caught it. Now, oh, did I catch that? Okay, good. I thought for a minute there that I went too far down. Because poor Jack's feet will be dangling there with no support. I'm not supporting our poor Jack here. And then, let's see. Okay. Let's put these tapes down real quick. And I apologize, you're probably hearing a bit of a noise in the background. I have right here at the edge of my desk, my I have a cascading beta tank, and it needs water added in because it cascades. It has three little tanks with betas in it, and they cascade one into the other, and my cats think that it's their personal drinking fountain. So they drink on the water. I have to add water to the thing every day. Dorcas says, see, here I did mess up. And, yeah, well, this is true. For a while there, we thought that they had actually eaten one of our fish. We nicknamed him Sushi. And I found out that, I'm not sure how, but he ended up catapulting himself into the base tank underneath. Um, and we thought he was long dead and, you know, lo and, you know, and gave, you know, Elvis the cat grief over it. And then when I went to go switch the water out of that tank, about two months later, I opened it up. And what is floating in the bottom? Sushi. Alive and kicking. Because the water cascades, he, the, the food would fall down. From the, that was left over from the, the fish didn't eat down into the tank. And he'd been living there happily, as happy as a clam for a couple months. I, it was like, it, it's just I can't even begin to tell you. It was like when we like, oh my God, oh my God. Craziest thing. So these are the things that happened at my house. Okay, let me push, put down my pictures real quick. And then we'll add the elements. Just add my tape here real quick. Whoa. Coordinate, Myra, coordinate. I know, that's asking a lot from us. Let 
I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And actually, I'm going to be careful about how I put it down. I'm going to put that down right there because I need to put this picture down. I should have done this one first. But heaven forbid that I do anything in the logical order. For that would make sense. And I am many things, and I do many things, but make sense is not one of them. Okay, kiddos. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, did I? I already did that side. So one in the middle. One piece there. We'll kind of middle it out. This is the only sad thing I hate about putting this picture is that I really do love the background paper to this. I really do. And it's like, oh, I feel guilty. Okay, let me just pick up that little tape. There we go. And I'm leaving all kinds of fingerprints in this glossy paper. It's half the reason I don't necessarily like glossy. But, you know, I can't complain. These are, I think I got, yeah, no, I know I got these printed at Costco. Such a deal. I got 19 cents a piece, so I've spent a whole $2.70 on all of these pictures. And there we go. So now I just put, I, gosh, I love this picture, how it just turned out. I just, I just love that decor. I mean, they really, Knott's really goes all out creeping out, you know, for not Scary Farm. I really do. Okay, so I am ready now to put my peoples, my peeps, all my spooky peeps down. I'm going to do, take all the tape off of here, which is remarkably coming off very quickly because things like this is what usually goes wrong on camera. I have no problem doing it at the minute. I'm on camera. Everything falls apart. Fires break out, earthquakes, volcanoes. You know, if, if it can, you know, like I said, Murphy has been living with me for years. We're going to have to have a talk because if he's going to be living here, he should be paying rent. And pay some of the utility, you know, share the utilities, you know, contribute to the food budget. All that because so, sometimes I say for one for bad luck, I'd have none at all and that would be good. But you know what? I really, no, really, in seriousness, all seriousness, I can't complain. Even with everything going on, I am very, very grateful, very thankful for my life. My family, my husband, who supports my sanity, insanity, let me take it back, my madness, and enables it probably far too much. Probably shouldn't indulge me as much as he does. Okay, last but not least, the mayor and the friend. And I'm probably going to come back through here. I haven't decided. But I'm, I want to, I, I need, I have a feel a need to add sparkle. So I have to figure out what I'm going to, there's just, I, I just feel, I have a compulsion. So I'm going to go check out my sparkle pens and come back and do something to this. Because that's the thing, I mean, here, from here on, she gives you the raw materials and it's up to you to do everything else. So let me make sure he's straight. Okay, we're going to put this one down here so at least somebody is not standing kind of like a mid-airish. Okay. And there we have it. I have a cemetery. It looks like an election happened over there of all those, the foamy bits. But, I mean, here you go. I put this together in pretty short order, which is what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was show you that how quickly the you can buy one of her kits and put together a two-page spread using your pictures and all of hers, um, her lovely ephemera created. I want to, I think, I'm going to come back here. Let me see if I can come up with, and I want to sparkle that somehow. So let me see. But as is, there you go. No fuss, no muss. Came right together, guys. So I encourage you to go and pick up some of her kits um, and go out there. And like I say, I, I do mine. I scrap my madness. Go out there and scrap yours. Be careful, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.